Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm Darren McBreen. It is Thursday, January 22nd, 2015. Here's a quick look what's coming up. Tonight, is it illegal to film police in public? And your home is the new battlefield for internet freedom. Weirdos brag about turning your appliances against you. That's next on the InfoWars Nightly News. If you really want to get into conspiracy theories, I'm a reptoid clone of John Wayne uh, and Elvis. Well, I thought I'd wear my tinfoil hat today because a few years ago, I told you that the federal government monitors everything you do on the internet and everything you say on your phone. Some of you out there thought I was just being paranoid. I listened to too much Alex Jones. You called me crazy and you said I should be wearing one of these. Others said that, you know, I'm a conspiracy theorist and even called me a dumbass. Well, everyone's entitled to their opinion and I'm certainly going to give you mine. And if you think I should be wearing a tinfoil hat, perhaps we should also send one of these to former CIA director David Petraeus because he's the one who said in a 2012 interview with Wired Magazine, that the government will routinely spy on us through smart appliances. And lo and behold, Samsung now admits in their so-called privacy policy that their new smart TV can actually monitor your conversations. The policy states, please be aware that if your spoken words include personal or other sensitive information, that information will be among the data captured and transmitted to a third party, <clears throat> federal government, through your use of voice recognition. That's voice recognition spyware in your television that can identify who you are by your voice, and it will listen and record everything you do in front of your TV. How do you like that? So what David Petraeus said was true back in 2012. I Guess that makes him a conspiracy theorist. Consumer appliances are now being activated and smart. And we're not just talking about your televisions. RFID chips and wireless internet connections also enable your computers, your printers, and even your refrigerators and dishwashers to communicate with each other and spy on you. And I guess we are finally living in George Orwell's 1984 because Big Brother is watching. And I was reading an article the other day in Tech News World where they said that all this smart technology is ripe for exploitation by the NSA. Yeah, you think? The NSA's cyber weapons program includes household appliances. So there you go. In fact, it even gets crazier because we now know that the insurance companies, through the command and control of Obamacare, they plan on using your household appliances like RFID chips in your refrigerators to monitor your eating habits or to see how many beers you had to drink. So they will use the surveillance infrastructure to monitor our behavior. And I guess it, it really does sound crazy just listening to myself talk. I mean, the government is going to spy on you through RFID chips in your refrigerator, but we, we can no longer deny this anymore because it's right in front of our face. It's right here in official government documents. The control freaks at the White House, they are absolutely obsessed with surveillance. Many Americans don't realize this, but nothing you do on your cell phone or on the internet is private. The U.S. government monitors all your phone calls, emails, and all internet activity. You are being watched. Anything you do or say will be recorded. 
Through warrantless cell phone tracking, the federal government can listen to your cell phone even when it's turned off and track everywhere you go. Police departments are now equipped with automated license plate readers, and they are driving around in unmarked vans looking inside your car, in your house, and even under your clothes with the same backscatter technology used by the TSA at airports. The federal government now has billion-dollar surveillance blimps patrolling the skies over major cities. Unmanned drones are being equipped with facial recognition software, and now they are spying on you through household smart appliances, through your computer, your dishwasher, refrigerator, and television. I have fresh outrage. I never get outrage fatigue. When I see them rolling out the nanny state televisions that are already listening to you, I told people like six, seven years, because I was told by someone at the FBI, I'll leave it at that, that they were using OnStar without warrant to listen to people. And then it was in the New York Times about five, six, seven years after I told you. So every single day, every cent you pay, every breath you take, every move you make, the federal government will be watching you. After all, the ultimate goal of the NSA is total population control. And yes, it violates our constitutional rights, but most Americans are more concerned about who's going to win the Super Bowl this year. And check this out, I thought this was interesting. Uh, we found a clip from 2005 from C-SPAN, and this is when then-Senator Joe Biden, he questioned Supreme Court Chief Justice John Roberts Jr. about implantable microchips to track American citizens. Biden said, he will have to rule on that before his tenure is over. And we'll be faced with equally consequential decisions in the 21st century. Can a microscopic tag be implanted in a person's body to track his every movement? There's actual discussion about that. You will rule on that, mark my words, before your tenure is over. Can brain scans be used to determine whether a person is inclined toward criminality or violent behavior? You will rule on that. Mark my words, huh? More like the mark of the beast. So how close are we to actually having microchips implanted under our skin? Well, according to the NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams, we might be a lot closer than you think. More now of our special coverage here tonight, life in the U.S. in 10 years' time. The year is 2017. You're rushed to a hospital, unconscious with no ID or medical history, but thanks to a microchip under your skin, it's all there. Science fiction 20 years ago, but a biometric reality today. Already, fingerprints and iris scans verify passenger identities at airports. Within 10 years, that technology may be even more widespread. And look for more complex facial recognition programs that scan a crowd of thousands looking for a single terrorist. So there you have it, and I don't want to say I told you so, but, well, yes, I do, because we did tell you so, and we were right all along. And now there's so much information and, and documented evidence uh, about the federal government's massive surveillance program that you're the one that has to be crazy if you are still denying what's going on all around you right now. Big Brother is indeed watching, my friends. So who's the dumbass now? Every year we make resolutions to lose weight and get in shape. And the truth is, it's hard. Even with diet and exercise, because of toxic food in our environment that is stressing our bodies more than ever before. Working with experts in nutrition and biochemistry, I found that super high quality nutraceuticals, in addition to my diet and exercise, were the answers that synergistically worked. I can see the drastic changes every day with the amount of weight I've lost, my increased stamina, and more of a twinkle in my eye. That's why we are now so excited to launch the InfoWars Life Resolution Pack, combining three essential formulations, oxygen-based cleanser oxy powder, the secret 12 bioavailable vitamin B12, and your choice of super female or super male vitality. Now all available at a discounted price to you and your family to bring in the new year and make 2015 a true success. That's InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. 2015 is the year to do it, and it all starts at InfoWarsLife.com. City of 
of Austin tap water versus filtered city of Austin tap water? I can like taste dirt in it. God knows what's in this. This has an aftertaste. Tastes like Austin water? Yeah, it does. Ugh. These people just sampled city of Austin tap water straight from the faucet. Next, we had them try a sample of tap water filtered through the ProPure G2.0 filtration system. High quality H2O. That one is better. Tastes like nothing. Yep, I know what good water tastes like. It's good water. Most tap water contains added substances like fluoride, chlorine, Monsanto's deadly pesticide, glyphosate, and many others. Studies prove that these substances are linked to an assortment of major health issues, including tooth decay, lowered IQ, and even cancer. It tastes like you're drinking out of the lake when you're drinking tap water. It has uh, that uh, processed flavor to it. The ProPure G2.0 filtration system removes these deadly substances and many more, leaving only fresh tasting, deliciously clean water. Okay, this is very tasty. It's good water. Refreshing. It's good. <laughs> Go to InfoWarsStore.com today. Use promo code WATER and save 10% off your ProPure purchase. Again, that's InfoWarsStore.com or call 1-888-253-3139. Well, if you haven't heard already, political prisoner Barrett Brown was sentenced today to 63 months in prison on trumped up charges for basically exposing the shady relationship between intelligence contractors and the U.S. government. Here's Leanne McAdoo to tell us why the Barrett Brown case is vitally important to freedom in America. American journalist and activist Barrett Brown first landed on the FBI's radar through his journalistic activities with a crowdsourced investigation called Project PM. Project PM was intended to provide a centralized data set regarding the expanding capabilities of the surveillance state and other issues constituting threats to human rights and the health of democratic institutions. Brown was originally facing decades of prison time for copying and pasting a link to a publicly available file. Journalists shouldn't face prosecution for linking to source material, so journalists everywhere should be paying very close attention to what happens in Barrett Brown's case. But not only that, anyone who uses social media should be paying attention as well. Six months after the March 2012 FBI raid on his mother's home, he tweeted, dead men can't leak stuff. Illegally shoot the son of a bee. Now, of course, upon first glance, that sounds like an incitement to murder. And indeed, the FBI even claimed that the tweet was targeted toward one of their agents. But here's the thing. The tweet was actually a quote of Fox News host Bob Beckel. Beckel was using his primetime news hour to call for the assassination of WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. The way to deal with this is pretty simple. we got special ops forces. I mean, a, a dead man can't leak stuff. This guy's a traitor, a treasonous, and, and, and he has broken every law of the United States. The guy ought to be, and I'm not for the death penalty, so if I'm not for the death penalty, I only want to do it, illegally shoot the son of a The FBI took no action against Bob Beckel or numerous others who were openly calling for a mystery bullet to take out Julian Assange. Instead, two days after Barrett tweeted the Bob Beckel statement, the FBI arrested not Bob Beckel, but Barrett Brown, and he's been in jail ever since. Assange warns social media users of this vulnerability, writing, Twitter is a police interview that never ends. Facebook has all of your friends wearing a wire, and YouTube has you in the dock talking to the judge. Every social media user creates a vast library of statements that may be taken out of context by vengeful or ambitious officials. Users should be displayed their Miranda rights each time they log on. Keep this in mind as the Obama administration is pushing for CISPA 2.0, which will effectively allow governments to demand that companies hand over user data without the need for warrants or subpoenas. With stronger cybersecurity laws will come harsher punishment. Hey, we're going to take a quick break right now. The InfoWars Nightly News will return when we come back. Jakari Jackson is going to talk about the escalation of no-knock raids by our nation's police departments. You don't want to miss it. Stick around. 
Every year we make resolutions to lose weight and get in shape. And the truth is, it's hard. Even with diet and exercise, because of toxic food and our environment that is stressing our bodies more than ever before. Working with experts in nutrition and biochemistry, I found that super high quality nutraceuticals, in addition to my diet and exercise, were the answers that synergistically worked. I can see the drastic changes every day with the amount of weight I've lost, my increased stamina, and more of a twinkle in my eye. That's why we are now so excited to launch the InfoWars Life Resolution Pack, combining three essential formulations, oxygen-based cleanser Oxy Powder, the Secret 12 Bioavailable Vitamin B12, and your choice of super female or super male vitality. Now all available at a discounted price to you and your family to bring in the new year and make 2015 a true success. That's InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. 2015 is the year to do it, and it all starts at InfoWarsLife.com. City of Austin tap water versus filtered City of Austin tap water. I can like taste dirt in it. God knows what's in this. This has an aftertaste. Tastes like Austin water? Yeah, it does. Ugh. These people just sampled City of Austin tap water straight from the faucet. Next, we had them try a sample of tap water filtered through the ProPure G2.0 filtration system. High quality H2O. That one is better. Tastes like nothing. Yep, I know what good water tastes like. It's good water. Most tap water contains added substances like fluoride, chlorine, Monsanto's deadly pesticide, glyphosate, and many others. Studies prove that these substances are linked to an assortment of major health issues, including tooth decay, lowered IQ, and even cancer. It tastes like you're drinking out of the lake when you're drinking tap water. Yeah, it has uh, that uh, processed flavor to it. The ProPure G2.0 filtration system removes these deadly substances and many more, leaving only fresh-tasting, deliciously clean water. Okay, this is very tasty. It's good water. Refreshing. It's good. <laughs> Go to InfoWarsStore.com today. Use promo code WATER and save 10% off your ProPure purchase. Again, that's InfoWarsStore.com or call 1-888-253-3139. A police officer caught on camera sleeping in his car told the man that was recording him on his cell phone in broad daylight, I might add, that it is now illegal to record the police in public. What are you doing, officer? What's up, bud? I was just wondering what you're doing. Well, no, I, I happened to notice because I went to my friend's house, then I went to get food, and then I went to a girl's house, and literally since like four or three in the morning, been sitting in this parking lot. Don't, Don't lie, lie to me. me. Don't lie to me. I'm not lying to you. If you person. keep lying, I'm going to put this on YouTube. Oh, so you're recording? I am, sir. Are you aware that it is now illegal to report police officers in public? Is it? I'm afraid it is. Now, unfortunately, in the state of Illinois, the cop is right. Well, he's, he's wrong, but he's right. You may recall last month, InfoWars, we reported that an amendment to the Senate bill in Illinois was overwhelmingly passed, which on the surface appears to make it a felony to record police officers and government officials. Unbelievable and totally unconstitutional. Of course, they can record us, right, through their dash cams and eavesdropping equipment. And don't forget, it was the state of Illinois who back in 2011, they wanted to put a man in prison for life for recording the police. It's a court case that could affect anyone who uses a cell phone or any recording device. It involves a local man who faces prison time for recording law enforcement in public. Citizens protested the charges against Michael Allison. If convicted, 75 years in prison is his possible sentence for recording on-duty law enforcement in public. Now, fortunately, those charges against Michael Allison ended up being dropped. And largely, I think, because Mr. Allison was a regular guest on our show, as well as the Alex Jones show. And this caused a lot of political activists to pressure the Illinois Attorney General's office to drop the charges. So that's the good news. But, but that was then. This is now. Just think, if Michael Allison were charged today, chances are he would be 
more than likely he would be spending a lot of time in jail, behind bars, maybe even for life. And to make matters worse, police departments all across the country are escalating their no-knock raids, which all too often ends up being a shoot first, ask questions later scenario. Carrie Mills is a retired Atlanta police officer with 30 years on the job, primarily in APD's drug unit. And she says no-knock warrants helped her close a lot of cases. If we knock and announce, all evidence is going to be destroyed. You got to draw the line between your right as a citizen to privacy and a community's right to live in a crime-free environment. You can't have them both. That was a police representative out of Georgia with pretty much a backwards paraphrase of the statement we know that those who sacrifice their liberty for security will inherit neither. Well, she's saying you can't have both. You have to choose, particularly when it comes to no-knock raids. Her justification, well, hey, if we announce our presence beforehand, the suspect can destroy evidence. Well, what if you don't announce your presence and somebody's life is destroyed during one of these raids? Such as the case of Baby Bobo. You guys have probably seen this. A child was injured when a officer threw a flashbang grenade into his crib, blew a hole into his chest, ripped apart his face, and now the family is facing about a million dollars in medical bill expenses. But that's not the only example. We saw in New Hampshire a violent DEA raid that left a grandmother with bullet wounds. They entered multiple facilities looking for multiple suspects. They were looking for the grandmother's children, and when they entered the residence, the grandmother ducked down to protect a small child. The officers claimed that they thought the grandmother was reaching for something and opened fire on her. Her children went on to say that the mother had nothing to do or the grandmother had nothing to do with the illicit activities. But it's not always the suspects who catch the business end in these no-knock raids. How about if an officer gets shot, such as the case in Oklahoma? He went looking for a suspected bomber, entered the wrong residence, and was shot multiple times. Luckily, this officer was wearing a vest and lived to tell the tale, but not everybody is as fortunate. We saw the case in Colleen, Texas. An officer was climbing through a window during another no-knock raid and was shot in the face for his efforts. The suspect is being held for the murder of the officer. I don't think he should have been. He was protecting himself and his family like any good Texan would. And finally, we'll end with this. A murder charge dropped against a man who killed an officer during a no-knock raid. Another Texas case. Officers, they come in at all hours of the night. The Texan arms himself and protects his family, not knowing who's inside of his home, opens fire on the officer, killing him. Luckily, the charges where the murder charge was dropped against this gentleman, but he is facing other charges. And in closing, I would say to any officer whose priority is preserving evidence, how about the priority of preserving life? You can find more reports at InfoWars.com. But I tell you what, the, the police departments across the country are totally out of control right now. And check this out. Some cops in Hamlin, Texas, they actually put a woman in jail, forget this, walking without a license. That's right. A woman in Hamlin, Texas is fighting charges of driving without a license and expired registration after she was arrested and jailed by cops while walking home with groceries. She said, she was approached by an officer a block and a half away from her home. The officer pulled up beside her and asked her where her car was. And this is what she says happened next. He got out of his auto and ran around to me approximately three feet from his auto, forcefully gripped my arm and drug me to the front of his auto. He kept asking me where my auto was and stated he knew I had been driving without a license. I informed him he can't do this and to call the chief of police, Bobby Evans. He said he didn't have to call him. And then he was writing me citations for driving without a license and expired registration. Nice guy. Yo, papers, sir. Well, they put her in jail. I mean, she was there overnight and her bond was $500 on each charge. That's $500 for driving without a license and $500 for expired registration. Remember, she was walking, all right? Robbins also notes that she produced a valid license and registration for the judge, proving that even if she was driving, she had the relevant credentials. Still, the charges are not dropped. Uh, you know, apparently the judge is just as corrupt as the police out there in Hamlin. And the case continues. The arresting officer has not been disciplined in any fashion.
Well, imagine that. Hey, that's going to do it for tonight's broadcast. The InfoWars Nightly News will return, Lord willing, tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock p.m. Central. Until then, I hope you all have a blessed evening. We look forward to seeing you back right here tomorrow. Good night. City of Austin tap water versus filtered City of Austin tap water. I can like taste dirt in it. God knows what's in this. This has an aftertaste. Tastes like Austin water? Yeah, it does. Ugh. These people just sampled City of Austin tap water straight from the faucet. Next, we had them try a sample of tap water filtered through the ProPure G2.0 filtration system. High quality H2O. That one is better. Tastes like nothing. Yep, I know what good water tastes like. It's good water. Most tap water contains added substances like fluoride, chlorine, Monsanto's deadly pesticide, glyphosate, and many others. Studies prove that these substances are linked to an assortment of major health issues, including tooth decay, lowered IQ, and even cancer. It tastes like you're drinking out of the lake when you're drinking tap water. It has uh, that uh, processed flavor to it. The ProPure G2.0 filtration system removes these deadly substances and many more, leaving only fresh tasting, deliciously clean water. Okay, this is very tasty. It's good water. Refreshing. It's good. <laughs> Go to InfoWarsStore.com today. Use promo code WATER and save 10% off your ProPure purchase. Again, that's InfoWarsStore.com or call 1-888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.